I wanted to try and start the day off right by making, well first I wanted to work out but then that's not going to be happening anymore because one, I don't think there's going to be a break today for Mr. to come here and like for us to go to the gym and yesterday I did an at home workout and I work out and God knows my sides are paying for it today so I think I'm gonna just use today as a rest day or maybe I'll just do the workout later on but right at this moment I literally do not feel like doing it so we're not doing that but I'm making some breakfast I have some um, cinnamon raisin bread, some plantains, and I'm making an omelette with um, sausage. So that's what we're gonna have for breakfast. I think I might allow myself to have a cup of coffee today because it has been weeks since I, no, maybe it's been a week. I think one day last week I had a cup of coffee because I'm like, all right, I haven't had coffee in a while so I could do that. But I've also been waking up later in the day too and like just not drinking coffee or tea. But I really feel like I could use a nice cup of coffee today. So I am indeed going to do that. And then I'm going to take my vitamins and pretty much chill for the rest of the day until I figure out if I'm going to work out or not. I don't know. I guess I have to see how I feel later on in the day. But as of right now, it's not the vibe, honestly. So this morning I made sure that I made enough to eat lunch, eat breakfast and eat lunch out of that again, which I was doing earlier and then I spilled cranberry juice on the table so I had to change the runner to this one that I had and I literally forgot that I had this one. Anyways, I was digging up the entire place and then I found it and then these runners are kind of porous. This porous means that things could go through it. I'm not really sure at the moment but if liquid goes on here, it goes right through it. So I put this one underneath it to protect that and then change the runner. But I also showered, washed my hair and braided it straight back and then I sold them up in the back so that that way I could easily throw a baseball hat over it when I have to go to the gym or I could easily put my wigs on without having to worry about the back. Also painting my nails. Let me see if I can show you guys that. They're pink, so like that's nice because like now that I have gel polish, it will last me a long time, upwards of like two, two and a half months because that is what my last set lasted me when I got them done. So that's great that I'm able to do that by myself. However, I need to find on Amazon a callus remover because I have a thing in the shower to like scrub the bottom of my foot with, but like it doesn't take the callus away because I'm just using soap on there. So I actually need to go find that right now. But I got a package downstairs earlier that I ran down for. I already recorded that, but fucking camera, I keep... Anyways, I got these bonnets. And let me give you a little backstory behind the bonnets, right? I really, really, really wanted to purchase these from a girl on YouTube. Because one, she's a black-owned business, you know, and that would have just been amazing to buy them from her. However, you know, I was getting two for the price of one on Amazon that I would have gotten on her website. So I paid I paid $15 for both of these and I ended up getting a free scrunchie with it that I could probably use on my wig. But, oh, I put a perfume on this one and I literally hate it. Maybe I need to counteract, counteract it with something else. And I spray perfume on there because your bonnets can quickly smell like just any kind of hair product. I always wash them, but like, I hate when they like just smell like hair products, hair products. And I had another one that I had thrown in the wash last night before I decided to buy this. And then I bought two, so I'm definitely gonna throw one out. So what I like about this is that um, it has a little frill on the front and my two favorite colors are teal and coral or like anything pinkish. So I thought these colors would complement my skin tone really nicely, but I love like this front part here. I feel like one, it accentuates your face and it just makes you look less like a toenail on the days where you don't really have anything going on for you. And so I bought these ones. So I decided that, and I don't know if it's guilt if I just feel bad, that when I wear it on my Instagram and people ask me where I get it from, I am gonna tag her her store. The name of her store is Taja's Lux Boutique. And if I can remember, I'll just link it in the description box, if I can remember. God, my memory is awful these days. Because, you know, I do want people to support her and I did want to support her too. But I like the idea that one, I pay for Amazon Prime so I would be able to get it 
today when I bought it last night and two you know I was getting two for the price of one you know so I it, kind of made more sense in my head but I really do feel bad because you know we are supposed to be the people who are supporting our fellow black um, entrepreneurs because like if we don't then who will you know what I mean so I really really do feel bad especially now that I got them but it's a literal same thing that she's selling so I will um, tag her store whenever anybody asks me I need to throw out the one that I have so this one is the one that I have and um I did not have this light on before. I, like I said, I really love pink and this is reversible as well. And my sister handmade one for me with like the Jamaica kind of cloth. But like the front is coming apart me because she handmade it. So she's supposed to make one for me exactly like this, but it's taking forever and it's not here yet. And let's face it, I really do need something to use throughout the time. I also got mail, which is great. Something that I was waiting on. But um, I love these absolutely love it you know it just makes your face look a little bit more dressed up than you just looking like a complete toenail when your hair is not done but um we do know that as black women as women in general we do have those days where our hair just isn't done and sometimes you don't want to do it either and you just have to work it out how you work it out i was also supposed to go to the dollar tree today to buy a few things but that didn't happen so Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I've been putting it off for the last week and a half and I'm not sure why. Because two of the days I was outside, I just didn't end up in the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I don't feel like going right now. Because when I went to the door just now, I realized that outside was literally so cold. I cannot put myself through that right now. The Dollar Tree is not even far. But honestly, I feel like I'm just a little bit lazy. Especially because I've been inside all morning. I'm literally not clothed. I'm going to have to do all of that. Such a process. We're not doing that. So we're going to go chill on the couch and lounge for the rest of the evening. And that's pretty much it but i literally love the bonnets i hope i remember to link her boutique in the description box so you guys can go shop from her because the bonnets are really really nice so nice but i needed one asap you know